Uvulas are consonants articulated with the back of the tongue against or near the uvula, that is, further back in the mouth than velar consonants. Uvulas may be stops, fricatives, nasals, trills, or approximants, though the IPA does not provide a separate symbol for the approximant, and the symbol for the voice fricative is used instead. Uvular affricates can certainly be made but are rare. They occur in some southern high German dialects, as well as in a few African and Native American languages. Uvular consonants are typically incompatible with advanced tongue root, and they often cause retraction of neighboring vowels. Uvular consonants in IPA The uvular consonants identified by the International Phonetic Alphabet are descriptions in different languages. English has no uvular consonants, and they are unknown in the indigenous languages of Australia and the Pacific. Though uvular consonants separate from velar consonants are believed to have existed in the Proto-Oceanic language, uvular consonants are however found in many African and Middle Eastern languages, most notably Arabic, and in Native American languages. In parts of the Caucasus Mountains and northwestern North America, nearly every language has uvular stops and fricatives. Two uvular R's are found in northwestern Europe. It was once thought that they spread from northern French, but some linguists believe that contact does not explain the appearance of all uvular R's in Europe. The voiceless uvular stop is transcribed as Q in both the IPA and SAMPA. It is pronounced somewhat like the voiceless velar stop K, but with the middle of the tongue further back on the velum, against or near the uvula. The most familiar use will doubtless be in the transliteration of Arabic place names such as Qatar and Iraq into English, though, since English lacks this sound, this is generally pronounced as K, the most similar sound that occurs in English. The voiced equivalent of Q is much rarer. It is like the voiced velar stop, but articulated in the same uvula position as Q. Few languages use this sound, but it is found in some varieties of Persian and in several Northeast Caucasian languages, notably Tabasaran. It may also occur as an allophone of another uvula consonant in Kazakh. The voiced uvula stop is an allophone of the voiced uvula fricative after the velar nasal. The voiceless uvula fricative chi is similar to the voiceless velar fricative x, except that it is articulated near the uvula. It is found instead of x in some dialects of German, Spanish and Arabic. Uvular flaps have been reported for Cuban for the variety of Khmer spoken in Batambang. The Tlingite language of the Alaskan Panhandle has 10 uvular consonants, and the Ubik language of Turkey has 20. Phonological representation In featural phonology, uvular consonants are most often considered to contrast with velar consonants in terms of being high and plus back. Prototypical uvulas also appear to be ATR. Two variants can be established. Since palatalized consonants are back, the appearance of palatalized uvulas in a few languages such as Arabic is difficult to account for. According to Vox, they possibly hold the features plus high back ATR, the last being the distinguishing feature from a palatalized velar consonant, uvular rhotics. The uvula trill is used in certain dialects of French, German, Dutch, Portuguese, Danish, Swedish and Norwegian, as well as sometimes in modern Hebrew, for the rhotic phoneme. In many of these it has a uvula fricative as an allophone when it follows one of the voiceless stops P, T, or K at the end of a word, as in the French example maître, M, T, chi, or even a uvula approximant. As with most trills, uvula trills are often reduced to a single contact, especially between vowels. Unlike other uvula consonants, the uvula trill is articulated without a retraction of the tongue, and therefore doesn't lower neighboring high vowels the way uvula stops commonly do. Several other languages, including Inuktitut, Abkhaz, Yukur and some varieties of Arabic, have a voiced uvula fricative but do not treat it as a rhotic consonant. In Lakota the uvula trill is an allophone of the voiced uvula fricative before I. 